The next transformation we're going to look at is a reflection. And a reflection creates a mirror image, which is why when you think of looking at your reflection, it's looking through a mirror typically. And the reflection occurs over this thing called the line of reflection, or sometimes you'll hear it called the line of symmetry. Now the reflections that we mostly deal with are across the x-axis or the y-axis, but as you get into high school, you will be reflecting over other lines, um, random lines, diagonal lines, um, but we're gonna just going to keep it simple for now. A reflection is also known as a flip which is why when you look in a mirror, um, you know, like the classic, if you raise your left hand, it looks like the mirror image or the reflection is raising its right hand. Um, and reflections form also congruent figures. So here's a picture of a shape being flipped and you see it's pointing in the other direction. If it's not pointing in the other direction, then it has not been reflected, then it was just a translation. So let's decide whether something is a reflection or not. Does this image look like it was flipped over? Is it facing the other direction? The answer is yes, it's a reflection. And this image was simply just slid across the line which would be a translation, but the answer is not a reflection because that's what they're asking us. So just like we did in the last question, we're going to actually put these on the coordinate grid. That's really the goal of what we're doing. So let's talk about how to reflect on the coordinate grid. So there are two types of reflections that we're gonna talk about. One is a reflection over the y-axis, the other is a reflection over the x-axis. So first thing is to reflect over the x-axis. You change the sign of the y value. So you're keeping the axis you want the same and changing the other coordinate. So for example, in letter, if we start with this original, cause, and we know it's the original because it doesn't have any of those prime markings, we went from a to a prime, the negative 3 is the same. This is negative 3, 1. This is negative 3, negative 1. It flipped over the x-axis and the y-value changed. So to do the opposite, to reflect over the y-axis, hopefully you're realizing that you're going to change the sign of the x-value. So we're keeping the y-axis the same and changing the x-value. So here's an example. Let's go from a to a double prime. Um, so this is negative 3, 1. This is 3, 1. So the, I'm flipping it over the y-axis, and that y-value stayed the same. They're both 1, but this run from negative 3 to positive 3. So here's what that also means. In algebra language, we've got um, x-axis. And then we've also got y-axis. So x-axis, we'll start with xy. And we're going to create the point x, comma, negative y. Now, negative doesn't mean that it's negative. It means that you change the sign. So if y is already negative, then this would become positive. And I hope you know that from 7th grade integers. For the y-axis, we've got this point x, y, and we're going to create the point negative x, y. So again, if x is negative, then when you do negative x, it actually turns positive. Now you could also do it by simply counting boxes, and I'll show you that in the next example. So what I'd like you to do in example two is draw the triangle pause the video, draw the triangle, and then play the video and I'll show you this counting boxes thing that I was talking about. So pause now. So we're going to reflect over the x-axis. So this is the axis that we need to concentrate on. And we want to have it flip over that line. 
So what I mean by the counting boxes technique is that you say, well, point A is one space above the x-axis. So its image is going to be one space below the x-axis. That's where A prime is. B prime is one, two, three spots above the line. So, I'm sorry, B is three spots above the line. So B prime is going to be three spots below the line. And so you can do this technique as well. It's not going to be so helpful um, in more advanced lines, but for the original um, x and y axis reflections, it'll be fine. And then point C is three spaces above, so its image is going to be three spaces below. Now, if you don't like this technique, you can do the um, count, you can do the change the sign technique. That's fine as well. What are the coordinates of the image? A prime is at negative 1, negative 1. B prime is at negative 1, negative 3. And C prime is at 6, negative 3. And you can see from the um, coordinates that all I did was change the sign of the y value. Okay, why don't you try example three on your own and um, you decide what technique you want to use. All right, so it didn't say to write the coordinates, but I added them so that way you can confirm that you're at the correct spot. And if you have any questions, write them down and ask me when you come to class.